there's a verse in the Bible that is really, really important. It shines forth during the season of Lent. That verse is found in 1 Timothy 2, verses 4 through 6. And it says, God desires all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. God desires all men to be saved. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever in this world believes in him shall not perish. He wants all men to be saved. Simon Peter, 2 Peter 3, 8 and 9 says, why is God taking his time coming a second time? Why doesn't he come now? And Simon Peter gives the answer. He is long suffering and patient, not willing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. We look at the 10 lepers in the Bible and say, yeah, Jesus wanted them saved. We look at blind Bartimaeus and we say, Jesus wanted him saved. We look at Zacchaeus, Jesus wanted him saved. The list is a long one. What about the Old Testament? If I told you that the Pharaoh in Egypt, Ramses II at the time of Moses, if I told you that God wanted him saved, you would say, prove it and I will. Moses comes to Pharaoh, he says, let God's people go. They're not yours, they're not Egypt's property, they're God's property. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, their children, let them go. Let them go back to the promised land. And Pharaoh said, that's not going to happen. And what happens then? Ten plagues. Ten plagues there at the early part of Exodus. The Nile River turns into blood, you've got lice, you've got frogs, you've got hail, you've got livestock dying, 10 plagues. Why does he send the plagues? Your initial reaction is this. He sends the plagues so that Pharaoh will let the Israelites go. And you are absolutely correct. But he sent the plagues for another reason, not just for the 1.2 million Israelites in the land of Egypt who were slaves, He sends the plagues for one man on this earth who he wanted saved, and that one man was Pharaoh Ramses II. The year is 1500 BC. The Egyptian empire has been in existence for 1500 years. He wants that man saved, and he almost did. He almost had him saved. Five times during those 10 plagues, Pharaoh said to Moses, your God is more powerful than my gods. Egypt at that time worshiped 1,400 different deities. Pharaoh said, your God is stronger than mine. And he said five times, I'm going to let the people go. And five times, three, four, five, six days later, when the plagues came to an end, when they came to an end, Pharaoh said, whoops, I guess just, it just happened naturally, and he reversed his decision. Why does God allow things in your life and mine, both the very good things, the blessings that come from him, and why does he allow the difficult things in our life? Because he wants us to come to faith in his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. How many times when storms come do we get really, really close to God? And how many times when the storm comes to an end do we just go back to business as usual, living our lives without Him? What is my prayer for myself, my grandchildren, Josh, Rachel, and Connie? What is my prayer for the people in this congregation and the people who listen online and the person listening to this vlog? My prayer is... When God arrives in some form or fashion in your life, I pray you realize it is Him. And unlike Pharaoh, you do not go back to your old way of life. From that day forward, He is so entrenched in your life that His divine presence is with you through every circumstance, with every decision, that you ever have to make, His divine presence. Keep us close to you, Lord. Amen.